Shut up and sit down. Hello. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go into a program called Freddy Wi-Fi. And also a little bit about football, which is a little utility I wrote to go with Freddy Wi-Fi. So this is Freddy Wi-Fi. Um, if you do the download here, you'll see it takes you to GitHub, which is right here. And yes, I'll include all these links. Okay, and there's a link back to the website if you want that. But you'll go here and just clone it, okay? And then you'll clone it into your directory that you want. Now I already have it installed here, so I'm going to go to Fruity Wi-Fi. Okay, now you will also want to go here to Fruit Bowl and grab this and clone this inside of your Fruity Wi-Fi directory. Now, once you've installed Fruity Wi-Fi, okay, um, you're going to want to be sure that, first of all, we're going to make sure nothing's running on port 80. So, let's open up our Apache control and we'll check port 80. Nothing's running on port 80. All right. So, we're good to go there. So, quit that. And we're right back where we were. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, you would normally um, install Fruit Bowl. Boom, and that took care of that. Okay, so now you just go F Bowl anywhere, and it opens this up. Now, what this does is it starts the Damien for Fruity Wi Fi. So you hit that. Boom, okay, and that started. So then we can go, boom, quit this, and then you come over to your web browser, and I like to keep a little directory of these different logins. So here it is. And normally it'd be admin, admin, okay. Um, you can change that in here if you want, and you can config and all. Now, this consists of a bunch of different modules. It's a, it's a wonderful application. If you have the um, Wi-Fi Pineapple uh, or Nano, Pineapple Nano, um, either one, I have the Nano, but um, they include Fruity Wi-Fi in their package of module, modules also. Now, if you are missing these modules, you'll go up here to Modules and click on it and instead of remove these would say install you can say list available and it takes a moment see boom okay and you see these like see here we have some say install now so then you go like this and you just click on it and it installs the module for you And it can take a moment, as you can see with this one. There we go. And we come back down here. And see, now it's installed instead of install. Um, just like AP, we'll install AP. Like I said, it takes a moment, but and it may take you a while to go down this list and install all of your little modules, but that's fine. You know, take the time; it's worth it. Because once you have them all installed, you can configure them, and you just have so many tools in here on one spot. BDF proxy, auto SSH, Beef has its own installation of Beef, Better Cap, Captive, 
Detect Dioth, Detect Rogue. DNS Spoop, Header Cap. DNS Pretty Proxy, Hopper Karma, Kesmet, Mana, MDK3. Now it doesn't have the upgraded MDK4, which is now available and mostly what I use, but it does have MDK3, which works just as well. Um, it has its own um, connection with Metasploit, Interpreter, Nessus. Just, you know, all kinds of all kinds of little goodies in here. As you can see. SSL Strip, SSL Strip 2. Tapper, Responder, Recon, Phishing, all kinds of good stuff. Tor, URL, Snarf. There. Took that one a few minutes. But then, anyway, you can go over here and do edit and go through and set everything up and then start it and all that good stuff. You have little switches here and it shows you what's what. You have your configuration where you set up what card is coming in and what's going out and what you're using here. And you can set up your wireless and your your monitor interface and everything. So just you know for a man in the middle and stuff like that you can set up all kinds of good little things so check out pretty Wi-Fi it's a really handy tool to have in your tool chest all right thank you very much and have a wonderful day